the pulse of South Asian pop culture. This is ABS. Next, an Austrian filmmaker heads to Lucknow to tell a heartwarming story that's extremely relevant in today's day and age. Our chat with Sandeep Kumar is coming up. Austrian filmmaker Sandeep Kumar makes a film about women's empowerment and shatters stereotypes when it comes to following your dreams and ambitions. Iconic actress Farooq Jafar, who recently won accolades in Gulabo Sitabo, stars in and as Mehrunisa. Sandeep, I want to talk about your film Merunisa. Now, this is a really, really important film, especially given what's going on right now in the Indian film industry. Merunisa is a story about three women in Lucknow and um, how they're dealing with patriarchy in their lives and uh, their relationship, uh, you know, affected by that between among each other. And uh, it's uh, primarily the story of uh, Merunisa, who's an 80 year old woman from Lucknow and uh, she is, uh, you know, just getting out uh, from the suppression of Wandavab and uh, lands up uh, being, uh, uh, you know, uh, sees herself in the suppression of another Nawab that's Bollywood. Begum ko hero banao mea, begum ko. Main karungi ye role mein. And in Merunisa, you actually are working with the iconic uh, Farooq Jafar, who we know through uh, Gulabo Sitabo, Peeply Live, numerous other roles. I believe you actually wrote this film with her in mind to play Merunisa. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I had been a great fan of Farooq Jafar, and I thought she was the one. If somebody could do it in India, she was the one. So uh, I had it, in, I had, I, I had it, I had her in mind when I was finishing the story. But initially, I had this story about you know. Uh, uh, an 80-year-old, an old woman in in India, and how she deals with a dream which she has, and she's at the end of her lifespan, and you know, and so so what do you have? Either you say it's time to pack up, and you just like you know um, lay back, or you just or you say I still I'm still alive, I still have life, and I'll you know I'll, I'll work towards my dream and fulfill that. You कौन से unrealistic world में जी रही हो तुम? You are just like Ammi. वो इस उम्र में वो लीड रोल होने के ख्वाब देख रही हैं और तुम लंदन जाने के मॉम वो अपनी जिंदगी जीना चाहती हैं बस बात है किसी नवाब के पैर की जूती फिर से नहीं बनने की बल्कि बॉलीवुड में वो घिसे पिचे पुराने तरीकों को तोड़ने की बात है how did you go about getting her on board? Because she seems like a very feisty, strong, you know, strong-willed woman. How were you able to convince her? So I had the script ready, and I, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, flew down to India, and I spoke to her about it. And uh, but she was already 87, I think, and she said that she is like she was uh, uh, doing a movie called Photograph with Ritesh Patra, and uh, and she said that we need to, if you want me for the main role, and she was very excited about the script and uh, uh, what. I got to know later on uh, when we were shooting that it somehow resonated with our own life story. So she, you know, her relationship with her husband and how she had that, you know, a kind of aggression in her and uh, she wanted to make a statement probably. I didn't know at that time, but she loved the script and she said, uh, you know, this has to be done and I will do it. Changes? <laughs> मजाक आप लोगों ने बनाया है 1857 की गदर का हम लखनवी औरतों के जज्बातों का 35 करोड़ रुपए प्रोड्यूसर लगा रहा है आप नहीं and this is probably the first time or one of the few times in Indian cinema that we're seeing an 87-year-old woman play the lead role in a film, especially an Indian film. Talk about what she was like on set. Um, you know, did she have on days, off days? Was she always ready and able to, to perform on the set? Yeah, I was actually quite, uh, uh, you know, worried. This was one of my biggest challenges that how am I going to deal with, uh, you know, her on the set and being, you know, she has done a lot. I mean, she's, 
she's been in the industry for such a long time of 40 years she's done umrao chan and she's went on people life and so they know that those are smaller roles and uh, and she was younger and i was a bit worried about how am i going to get this done and i wanted to have a chat with the previous directors but i couldn't get through to ritesh patra and you know so how do we how how do i you know how do i communicate to somebody like her so it's like you know something different if you're talking about films if you're discussing with i don't know the was the tiki a young guy who you can talk about films you can talk about european cinema but how do i communicate what's on the script with with farooq chaffer you know and um, so that was one uh, challenge the other challenge was to keep a fit for those 25 days so we uh, sat down together with a team when i reached lucknow and you know we figured out a plan how we are you know how when she's going to come on set and we have some resting time then you know because you know how it is in lucknow everybody is like we discovered everybody is in a wab so <laughs> so everybody, everything takes time if you say say 7 o'clock people land up at 9 so first we had to figure that out and i had like you know my dp is a german guy and he was like uh, if the time is 6 and if it's 5 past 6 he says we already late and there people you know came in so we had to find a work around for that that people are punctual and the other thing is that we had to find uh, you know discuss with her team the exact plan uh, you know when is she is going to come she has enough resting hours her diet and all that but i have to say that i was extremely impressed because she was she was never late on set she was always there she was always she was up and agile you know whenever her uh, you know whenever she was in front of the camera uh, uh, I feel my personal feeling is that she's um, she's an incredible actress and she's been so much so underrated in India for such a long time. And that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Log on to avstv.com to stream this and past episodes and stay connected to our social media handles for up to the minute 